Uh, this game won't outsell Remake because it's on the PS5. At least not for a long time. The user base of the PS4 is insane. Deal with that. Just deal with it. Cloud's like, guys, deal with it. I don't want to fight this thing. So I'm kind of wondering if I pressure him enough, if he'll just never use Giga Flare. But I don't know if that's like worth trying to do. Ow, ow, ow. God, I moved this so much damage. I like my plan of just holding on to my infinite move until he's about to use Giga Flare and then uh, stopping him with it. Problem is, I kind of need it for healing. Just use it now. Yeah, screw it. Oh, 
Oh my god. That was pretty crazy. That was no limits, I still did that much damage. scary here. Close to being able to use my move. Yeah, we're dead. Unless we like can cancel it with double limits or something. I might be able to just barely pull it off. No shot. Almost. I should have just kept an ATB with Cloud, actually. Oh, we did die anyways. Yeah, so like, I just got behind there where I, I gave Cloud and Tifa infinite MP and then Cloud died and I lost it. I was going Cyber. Knocked right into it. That was cool. Oh, 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 that 
that was so cool. You got I'm guessing you fee. Kind of prefer someone getting grabbed. I get some free time. I'm already out of that sucks. We chill. Well, I don't know. He's not hurt much yet, though. Finally figured out how to dodge that, but my AIs still get blasted by it. I don't know if I should just go Scorched Earth or what. Maybe I just go scorched earth. Okay, never mind. He's Giga now. So we wait. Stagger yet. Not yet. That moves really neat. Ah, nice dodge. I should have just, because he's not really using it. He might be too low, like, health to use it. Okay, good. Okay. 
Scorched Earth. Do that much damage, but used absolutely everything. Should have saved Cloud's ATB though, because now I'm probably dead. Well, maybe not. I'm sure Yuffie can survive that, like, regardless. survive long enough to do this forever. I just have to go like crazy, crazy, like focus the whole time. Because you can't, even with the, I mean, with Barrett, I can kind of sustain forever. With, T with Yuffie, I definitely can't. He just does too much damage to us. But I don't really want to do another really long fight with Barrett. I like this better, but it means I gotta focus way more on damage. Man, this beginning of the fight is like... Dude just attacks like crazy. I wish I could get rid of his wings, because that probably stops him from Giga Flaring, but it, they're so strong. Should go back to Barrett, honestly. Yuffie's not really doing much. She's not really doing much damage either. Just because he's immune to everything. Elements don't matter at all.
having I miss having uh, the Barrett sink because it's so much easier Get this off in time. I think you do that move. Nope. Don't think you get to do that move, actually. that move around here. Oh, 
didn't really like that move either. To be honest. Not a favorite of ours. Am I playing Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> what did I just witness? Somebody's absolutely gaming. Should be good. And I have Cloud with 2 ATB. I tried to build it up. So what we do here is we wait. And then we do this. She didn't. Hello. Do the thing, please. Thank you. Tifa, run. Run, Tifa. Cloud might die. Cloud's not gonna die. to go, but... Oh, 
Palm silenced. That sucks. Alright, we're gonna just have to hold that till next go. Yes. I used Focus Strike to get the extra ATB so I could get two hits off so that my uh, synergy thing is ready. But then she got grabbed. Cloud to get like all the ATB right now. Go Tiva, go Tiva, go. Go Tiva, go Tiva, go. Do I try to finish him or do I try to use my move? As he doesn't giga flare, we're fine. And if he does, I have stuff ready. Dude, holy crap! Bro, I 
this is like the greatest game ever made. Dude, the amount of like things going through my head and I'm not even like finished with the game and like in the mode of like post game, you know, let's start trying crazy stuff. But like the amount of like, all right, I got to use Focus Strike with Tifa, but I got to use it when he's attacking so I can get an extra ATB so I can use the second one so that I can get enough ATB or uh, synergy charges so I can use Cyclone so I can have infinite MP so I can cast Barrier and Mana Ward so I don't get wrecked by Giga Flare. Then I got to have Yuffie doing her thing. Like there's just so many things like... You know, at first I felt like the mechanics, like there were too many, like they almost like over shut, like it almost felt like they took remake and they just shoved more mechanics, you know? And at first I was like, this might be too much. Like it, not that like more mechanics equals bad, but like over blood, like, you know, just like, you don't need all this, right? But the more I get into like actual real difficult fights, the more I start to realize how much it all interweaves together into like this awesome combo of different things you can do. Like the amount of crazy different mechanics I was throwing together in that fight. That is one of the most entertaining fights I've ever done in any video game. Like seriously, that was so much fun and like perfect blocking right when I need the perfect block and then using focus strike to get extra ATB to have just enough to do a move to give me just the right amount of MP to do this. And then, you know, it's like this dance between all the different mechanics. Man. And then holding all my limits and then like blowing them all when he gets stagger and then that fight in particular because you have to use the synergy moves so like i'm using the synergy moves to pressure him and then i'm using my abilities to take advantage of the pressure and then my abilities give me the synergy charges so i can do the synergy moves the abilities so i can get infinite mp so i can use my magic you know like it, it all builds on top of each other and it's crazy because, like, I was using Barret for survivability in the previous fight, but in this fight, I was just doing this dance of synergy move into ability, into synergy ability, into now I have infinite MP and I can fully heal everyone and give everyone barrier and shell, the mana ward, and then repeat. So, synergy attack, ability, synergy ability, beef up, repeat. And that was the whole fight. And then luckily it kind of, I needed to be in the second phase of that whenever Giga Flare came up so that I could beef up right before Giga Flare. But like, if I was, if I wasn't at beef up mode, but I was close to pressuring, I could finish the stagger and then use my synergy ability during the stagger. And then coming out of the stagger, he would, recast Giga Flare, but then I'd be in beef up mode. It's like, man, oh my God, there's just like so many amazing things going on. And I don't even have half the materia or like half of the, you know, this isn't post game, you know, putting everything together. This is halfway through the game and I'm putting together all this stuff, you know? Man. And that was a sweet fight. Having like the the synergy moves pressure him. And then yeah, if you stagger him quick enough, he never goes into Giga Flare mode. But once he's Giga Flaring, like you can't stagger him there. But uh I think I feel like he does one Giga Flare, like even if because I felt like I was Well, there was one point where I like stopped pressuring because I had to heal and then he had time to Giga Flare, so maybe that's what happened, but it felt like halfway through the fight, he like always Giga Flared no matter what, but I think it was just because I was running low on everything and I had to reset. And then he had time to get into Giga Flare mode. But you know, when he got into Giga Flare mode, you knew he was in Giga Flare mode, so you could like prepare. I can't wait to do this fight like post game. I can't wait to do like solo fights against this fight because 
I mean, like, solo fight against him would be interesting because you can't pressure him, but... Everything else, like, all the all the dodging and stuff, his moves are, like, crazy. The... I don't know if you noticed, but the, the move where he throws the two orbs... This version, when the orb hits, a little shockwave goes out. So it's even harder to dodge. And... At first, I thought it was easier because it's slower, but... Then it has that extra... Thing. I don't even know how like a damageless fight would work on that because there's like those particles everywhere that deal damage to you And some of the moves just felt like crazy. I mean it seemed like you could parry everything but Man that was just, man, it, like, I, up to this point, I really was, like, wondering how much synergy moves would really, like, impact the post-game, you know? Because I'm thinking to myself, like, all the stuff that was really strong in Remake are still strong here. And the synergy moves just felt like they were, like, a separate thing that just didn't fit with everything else. And then this fight just sold it to me. This fight sold everything they added in this game to me. Because now it all kind of clicked in my head. And it's like, you have this great dance between synergy attacks, abilities, synergy abilities, and then whatever bonus you get from the synergy ability. And it's, man, if, if you do it correctly, it is so awesome. And I was like, halfway through that fight... I was in the ability menu and I just had to pause for a second because I was like, this is so awesome. Like the amount of things going on in my head, the amount of different things I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking about how many synergy charges Cloud has because he's one away from being able to do the synergy ability. I'm thinking about how much HP everyone has. I'm thinking about how much MP everyone has. I'm thinking about whether or not Yuffie has doppelganger up. I'm thinking about whether or not unbridled strength is on Tifa at the moment. I'm thinking about what Bahamut's doing. I'm thinking about what phase Bahamut's in. I'm thinking about how long biggest pressure bar is. I'm thinking about whether or not he's pressured. Like, just a million different things going on at once. And I was like, holy cow, this game is amazing. <laughs> I just had to stop and think like, man, holy cow. That fight sold me, because up to this point, I, I still no kind of felt like the game was a bit, uh, to try and stand in your way. I felt like it was a bit bloated. Like, not, like, I can't help but where we'll meet next. terribly, so but just having the game already be remake, but then on top of that with the synergy moves and everything, and how there's so many of them, and the abilities and the attacks, I was like, this feels kind of bloated. Like, I don't know how these are gonna come together i don't know i feel like i'm either using synergy attacks or regular attacks and i don't get how this all flows that fight proved to me how it all flows like that was freaking awesome dude man i am i am i went from being like you know post game is probably going to be pretty fun maybe even as fun as remake to oh my god i can't wait till we get to post game <laughs> I'm so excited for post game now. I just want to do like the craziest crap with this game now. After that fight, man. Holy moly. Well. We beat Bahamut the moment he popped up. We have not even stepped foot in Cosmo Canyon yet. The other fights, we weren't able to do that. Kajata, we fight, fought kind of early. All the other fights, we got smat, like couldn't even do damage. But that one, we pulled it out. Thanks to the crazy mechanics of these characters and having Yuffie at full, well, really everyone at full power now. And what's funny is I didn't even use any of the things that I've been saying this whole time or like bust and quote unquote busted, you know. It was really just taking advantage of the mechanics 
and and having a, a nice con like a nice dance between them between everything to stay healthy man that was I'm like blown away that was so freaking cool <laughs> back to bluegrass that was so freaking cool man wow Yeah, I am. I mean, who knows what's going to be possible post game and, and challenge wise, but I thought all the crazy stuff we did with Bahamut and Remake was fun. And all the crazy stuff we did with Top Secrets, Top Secrets No Materia was fun. I cannot wait to see what we're doing in this game. I hope we can do something similar in this game because with all the different mechanics it feels like the type of game that I could just come up with so many different fun things to do frog only let's go <laughs> they did give us the three rings so we could do frogs frogs was not fun in remake though I tried it was not fun it was like just torture <laughs> I tried so hard to do like frogs versus Bahamut but like, the frogs just can't heal. Like they, just, it, like in remake, you, it, frogs just couldn't. In this game, maybe the fact that you can perfect block frogs could actually do something. But in remake, frogs just can't do anything, so they just die. The toad ring's pretty much a meme, yeah. But yeah, in this game, you should be able to perfect block everything and never take damage. So, like, Toad's technically possible, maybe. Also, I don't know. I don't remember if they were that strong in Remake. But in this game, uh, their Leapfrog ability does, like, crazy damage. At least it was in that one fight. Anyways. This is a good place to stop. I'm like blown away, absolutely blown away. Um, I feel like last week we got blown away by the story and this week I've gotten blown away by the mechanics. This game really is the whole package. That That's how I'm feeling right now. Like the mechanics of this game are remake on steroids. That fight I just did is one of the most fun fights I've ever done in any game. And it just continues to be more and more fun. I think this is one of the best action RPGs ever made already to me. Like in terms of just the mechanics and how they all go together and, and how it feels. The story has continually blown me away, but especially last week. But this week, you know, today as well, like Sid's awesome. We, we, we still need to see more of Sid, but, you know, for now, Sid's cool. Um... And I really like all the changes they did with Gungaga. I think it was all awesome. Um, and uh, the open world just continues to be so much fun. And I know a lot of people complained about Gungaga, but I liked it. So we'll see when I go back to it. Maybe I'll have more critical to say about it when we go back to it. But for what I did, I thought it was fun. I did get kind of lost, but like... The combination of how good the area looks and the music, to be honest, made me not frustrated when I was lost. Like, I didn't mind running around trying to figure out where to go because I was just looking around and enjoying the music, so. But perhaps when I go back, when I get lost again, I'll be like, all right, I can see why you guys were complaining. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, I personally really like my first trip through Gungaga Forest. Um, and also, man, in terms of the open world, the fact that we got three massive open world sections back to back to back really put to bed my worries that the game was going to start getting a bit too, like, not linear, but, like, just kind of pigeonholing us into, like, do this mission, do this minigame, do this mission, do this minigame, which is what it was for, like, three straight chapters, and we were starting to be like, oh, I don't know, this is getting a little... But then they, boom, here's three massive areas to, to explore. So 
Although the pacing maybe could have been better, like I said before, I just don't really see how they could have done it differently. My only, like if, if I could have it my way, I would have put, I would have somehow like when we got to Costa del Sol, I would have said like, okay, all of the attractions are closed and you have to go to Mount Nebel and do something and then they open. That way we could just do a little bit of exploring in Mount Nebel before going back and doing Costa del Sol. That would have split it up a little bit instead of doing three tunnel sections and then three open world sections. It could have been two and then a little bit open world and then a little bit more mini game and then two more big open sections. But like other than that, you're really screwing with the the locations if you were to switch it any more than that. So, you know, but this definitely put my worries to bed that, you know, the open world was only in the beginning and then the rest of the game is just like, no, we have three massive areas to explore now. Um, so yeah, man, I, I am just like on cloud nine right now. I have loved everything we've done. I mean, I've had little <laughs> criticisms here and there, but like overall, man, I am just loving it. Um, the only thing I can think about in terms of like what to, what to look for, like tomorrow and, and Wednesday, um, I want to see more Zack because all the Zack sections have been like, here he is for two seconds and then back, which I'm okay with. But like the, I'm starting to, I'm starting to be confused by the advertising of this game because Zack was forefront in the advertising. I think I saw more Zack than I saw Cloud. And the, um, the cover of the game literally has Zack on it, you know, like the same size as Cloud, right? So like, I'm just a little confused by like the advertising, like why is Zack so front and center when we've done like literally nothing with him yet? Um, so I guess that's the only thing I want to like see moving forward is, is more Zack. I personally like having just little tiny Zack moments. I don't really want more Zack personally, but I just think for the sake of the advertising and the sake of like what everyone was expecting going in, I feel like everyone was expecting more Zack. So um, for the sake of like everyone else, I, I feel like we should see some more Zack here within the next two days. I think that would be good. Me personally, I could care less. Like I, I like the way things are going. I don't need to like stop the game and do some Zack stuff. I would rather just continue doing what we're doing. But I think it's fair to say that people expected more Zack and the advertising definitely showed us more Zack. So like, we need some more vitamin Z. That's what I'm saying. We need some more vitamin Z or else when the game's over, I'm going to be very, I'm going to be questioning Square's advertising. Like, hey, what the heck? Why did you show us so much Zack? So, but that's really it. I cannot wait for Cosmo Canyon tomorrow. Cosmo Canyon tomorrow. I, I'm i like, man, Cosmo Canyon, you know, the, the dine scene was the thing I wanted to see the most. That was what I was most excited about. But Cosmo Canyon was the area I was most excited about. But honestly, I loved like Gungaga and Costa del Sol so much that I'm like not as... I'm like not anticipating Cosmo Canyon as much as I thought I would have been because I've just been loving every section. Um, you know, I can't even see how Cosmo Canyon's gonna gonna beat those sections, but it probably will because it's Cosmo Canyon. It's amazing. So <laughs> we'll see that tomorrow. Let's say goodbye to YouTube. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to read your comments in like three weeks when we're finally done with the freaking game. I can't read YouTube comments because I don't, you know, I gotta wait till we're done with the game, but like the game's taking so long because it's so long and so much stuff. It's biggest game ever. But I look forward to hearing all of your opinions and thoughts on everything. And we'll see you in the next episodes. Peace.